Hey mind. everybody, welcome to the Agent Mastermind class. Today is Tuesday. Golly, what is it? Uh, we are, we're already in November. November. Awesome. So, My hey, man Scotty uh, Hudspeth is going to be presenting for you today some excellent, we're going to be going into Pinterest part two, but Scotty, you, you threw a little leaky out prior to us is talking I about did. the recording about a fantastic surprise today. So what, what do you got for us, man? All right, man. So, all right. So, there's this phone app, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna turn my phone. I'm gonna, I got my phone right here, and I'm gonna show you guys something. I'm gonna click this right here. I'm gonna click this, and okay. So, here's the deal. It does 360 panoramic views. You guys see the, the phone right here. Here's the app. I'm gonna show you what the app is here, but I'm gonna put it down on the, on the table. And what it does is it automatically does 360 panoramic tours. Okay, so it's sitting on the table. Now watch this. I'm going to click go. There's a little countdown timer. Can you see it? Watch this, Paul. You guys seeing this? What? Can you believe that, Polly Baxter? It's turning by itself with the vibrate mode of the phone. Doing a 360 panel of my office. No. It's moving ah. itself? Moving itself. Yeah, All right, man. that is kind of cool. That's the first gizmo that iPhone has come out with that is cool. My hand. So depending on the countertop, but yeah, and then when you pick it up, it's done. Now and somebody's asking, what about what about like if you have a case on it, like a an otter box or something? Do you need to remove your otter box to make that work? Yeah, you, you gotta you gotta take the case off. Um, that's the only that's the only problem. So I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but look at this. It's showing the virtual, showing a, a panoramic tour of my office. Is that crazy? That is very crazy and very cool all at the same time. Now, the same time. I, so I do not know. I have not seen that, and I don't think it is available for my Android folks. It's now, I will awesome. tell you, our phones are built in with a panoramic tour. The, the Android phone, if it's, if it's two years or younger, it's built in with a panoramic tour photo or in there, but it doesn't do the movie by the like move on its own with the vibrate thing where it vibrates and makes it turn on its own. I know. It's just a matter of time, brother. You guys will catch up. All right, everybody's asking what's the name of the app. So there it is, Cycloramic for the iPhone 5 and iPhone 5S. So Cycloramic, and here's the best part, Paul. It's free. You know me, man. I love me some free stuff. Free iPhone app. So go ahead and check it out. Download it. Now come back to the class. We're going to talk some pictures. I know you guys, I know it's so freaky that it literally is midnight. I'm like, oh, my God, are you serious? Got up, set it on my counter. <laughs> and I'm like, are you kidding me? They're going to freak out when I show them this. So that's the, all right, enough of that. You guys got that? Cycloramic, we'll come back to that at the end. All right, Vicky, you ready? All right, can't hear Vic yet, but let's do this. Oh, She's got guess what? Cycloramic is available for the Android phone. Is it really? Oh, yeah. And I will be installing it as we speak and playing with it. I'll, I'll let you know if there it works, it works well we in just go. a minute. All right, so let's get started. So last week we did what Pinterest is. I, I, I can't. I did. And you, one second here. Yeah, she's got herself muted. Hey, Mike, could you help me with Vicky out, please? On it. All right, so she's, she's moving. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. What Pinterest is, this is what we did last week. What Pinterest is, why you should be using it, who was on a major company setting up your account, filing. Okay, so this week, we are going to cover have a strategy, creating your brand, keywords. We're going to talk a lot about keywords, identifying your customers and their habits. Why are they on? Uh, I've got to move this out here. What, what do they post? What do they follow? What do they like or repin? What is their purpose? Connect, educate, sell. What are your goals? Increase sales. I mean, ask yourself these questions. Increase sales, increase revenue, referral partner increase, increase brand awareness, stay consistent. You must post every day. Um, now, here's the cool part. You don't have to be the one posting every day. My Pinterest board, I don't, I don't ever post to it. Vicky just, Vicky loads it up. So um, it doesn't have to be you. 
if you have an assistant, just make it part of their day. Like, okay, hey, for five minutes, go in, either follow, pin, relit, you know, love, whatever, all that stuff that goes on with Pinterest, and make it happen. So more board ideas and more and board critiques. We've got a couple people that posted their uh, boards on the page. I really appreciate it. So we're going to be going over those today. And then we're going to talk about creating your brand, getting comp uh, compensated for your passion. So we've talked about this a lot, and we're going to cover this in, in great detail. So set your goals. Write down the mission, write down your vision, and you should do this with your whole business plan, but your business plan, Pinterest should be one of the things. Know what you do and who you serve. Create a development plan based on who you are. Are you funny, goofy, a bookworm, nerdy, sporty, etc.? A quirk you can capitalize on. Like People want to relate to you. People want to know who, you, who really you are. I'm working on my about section right now. And I'm telling a story that will hopefully, and I'll get your opinion on it later, but hopefully when you read my story, you'll kind of figure it out and know more about me just by reading the about section of my websites or my mobile site or whatever it is so that you guys can get a feel before you even talk to me or ever meet me, you kind of get a feel for where I came from and why I'm where I'm at. And I think that's really, really important because people love stories. So, and telling a story with a picture is so much easier because people can relate to a picture instantly. So, and then how do you use keywords in your description, captions, and about me that will um, that might just get have a better chance of showing up on Google later on? Okay. All right. Identify your customers. Who are they? I mean, this is this is the what age group? So men, women, married couples, engaged, singles. We've talked about this before. If they're engaged, how many engaged people buy a home or sell two homes and buy one home? I mean, that's a really good category to hang around in. So if you're hanging around, like if you if if you have a a weddings type board where you're showing maybe the weddings you've been to or wedding ideas, or there's this website called Lover.ly that ha that what Lover.ly did, and I'm just giving you a little tip here. You could go pin stuff from Lover.ly, and what it is is it's a it's a website where they took a million wedding magazines, put it all into one, and made a website out of it. So you can like stuff, share stuff, comment on stuff. I mean, all kinds of cool stuff. So millions of different colors, designs, graphics, all that kind of stuff. So um, home types, what, what is your niche? You know, like what are you what are you specializing? Condos, waterfront condos, maybe waterfront homes, golf course houses, um, single family, duplex, maybe you focus on commercial. What is it? So let people know about that. Uh, professionals, police, teacher, firemen, maybe you maybe your niche is working with police, teachers, firemen, maybe the what's it called? The um, the program um, Heroes Next Door program, that's a great one. So if, if that's you, I think you should really bring that out and let people know about that because that's a huge niche. I mean, police officers are like, I mean, they're family. Teachers are family. Firemen, I mean, they're all, that they're just, they stick together. So industries, Home Depot, Lowe's, Disney, hospitals. Uh, what time are they on? When do they post? We talk, I, I would kind of follow the Facebook when they're on type numbers, but what do they post? What do they like? Infographics, videos, pictures, recipes. How to's uh, find out what people are talking about on Facebook. Bring it to bring it to Pinterest, and then take it back to Facebook and share it through your Pinterest board. You'll get more activity. Uh, what do they buy? What's the hot topic that they're, that they're talking about on the Today Show? Maybe there's something new that everybody's buying. That should be a part of your board. I mean, people are searching for that thing right now. So maybe you just might get somebody to go, "Hey, there's there's Paul. He posted. He he took a picture of it. He already he must have already had one, or he just pinned it because he likes it, or maybe he's getting one. Whatever." Uh, and then who do they follow? Find out, like, here's the big thing, and I was talking about this, and I posted this on the Facebook groups, but when you when you get a client, I 100% think you should go friend them on Facebook, follow them on Twitter, follow them on Pinterest, follow them, I mean, connect with them on LinkedIn, and start engaging with them, saying hi, and just let them see your face. Let them, let them see that you're everywhere, so that when they go to decide to who, who's going to sell my home, God, like Paul's everywhere. So it's just a, just a good good idea there. So start thinking that mindset. So what is your purpose on Pinterest? Do you want to educate people? This is just one idea. So here's some good educating you like uh, a pallet garden, rain garden, how to water garden. I mean, there's kind of the cool, cool different things. People love this stuff, and obviously you can take you can take a, a blog post that somebody else wrote up and pull it right into your Pinterest board and say, hey, this I thought this was a great read and what a great idea. You can do stuff like that. Uh, people only buy houses every five to seven years. Are you are you looking to sell? Well, if that's the case, I would 100% start building 
like all the homes that you've sold, maybe your listings on here so that they can see that, wow, they got a lot of listings or they've sold a lot of homes like Stacy Stop did. She's got a board just for homes sold. So they can she can quickly go there when she lists with somebody or goes to a listing presentation going, hey, I just want to share with you all the happy clients that I have of homes that I've sold and, and um, the price ranges that I've sold in. I just want to share that with you. So that's a great way to do that. And then to connect, maybe you just want to connect with people. I mean, that's where I think that this is where social media has gone. And, and, if you, and if you do it right, it is so, so powerful in the fact that when you connect with somebody, it's like being part of them, it's like being, being friends with them. They go, oh, well, and here's the thing is if you go follow, like say this is pick Sonia, if, you, if I go follow Sonia, more than likely she's going to come back and follow me, but maybe not. She's only got three followers. But if, you, but if I follow her, she's following 45. Uh, Joe, if I follow Joe, he's probably going to come back and follow me back. Tom, Tammy, Janet, I mean, if I follow all of my clients, more than likely we have a connection already because we're working together or have worked together in the past, they'll probably follow me back. And then every once in a while you do a pin. If it's every day, they're going to see something cool. Make it cool, but make it maybe educational. Or just pick, work, pick a little bit about yourself and kind of go with it. Brand recognition. Vicki, do you have any, any thoughts on, on anything I just said? I don't know why I'm still not hearing her, so, okay. All right, so brand recognition, whole food. So check this out. So is it to build your brand? I, I totally believe in building your brand, but I believe more in connecting with your past clients and current clients. So um, just think about where you want to go. I think one board should be building your brand. Who wants dinner? Eat your, like, here's a good board, super hot kitchens. This is whole foods, um, sweet tooth. What is your goal? Get X number of leads, opt-ins, get X no, uh, new referral partners, affiliates, partners, get X number of new followers a day, get X number of comments or engagements, like what, what, like pick a goal, like maybe, maybe you just want to follow more people knowing that they will follow you. Here's a little trick that we used in LinkedIn. If you go give somebody a recommendation, and I would recommend doing this, 90, I think it was 75%, Paul, wasn't it like Carl did that and 75% of the people gave a, a, a referral back? recommendation back I think it was no some some high number like that so is everybody hearing me okay maybe I'm the one not being heard does everybody hear me okay real quick everybody see my screen okay yeah okay cool all right all right good 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 all right so strategy map for Pinterest so the big thing expose yourself now not literally but expose yourself let the world see who you are and this is the same with Pinterest Facebook Twi Twitter LinkedIn Expose yourself. You get out there. Join the party. I can guarantee you that everybody on this call has a past client that is in one or all of those Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter, and um, uh, uh, Pinterest, and Facebook. Get followers and engage them. Give them good quality content and pins. Make it about you. Make it something that you like and make people like who you for who you are okay don't try to be somebody else don't try to be an you know don't try to say well I'm this person when I'm really not I don't really care for that if you like something pin it just show, throw it up there drive traffic get them to your website blog fan page or email sequence so when you drive traffic when you send an email out and you have an interesting topic maybe instead of post from your blog pin your blog post to Pinterest and send the Pinterest link that has the picture with your blog post in it so they can click on that and then maybe just follow you on Pinterest as well. Does that make sense? All right. Sell something. Let them buy your products. If, of course, with people on the call, you're looking to get a new listing. Keep the listing you currently have. And I firmly believe that we already have enough customers if we take care of the ones that we have. So video tips always have a, a, a clear on your video tips. Always have a clear call to action. CTA is call to action. So, for example, hey, just give me a call for a free, no obligation consultation. Look forward to working with you guys. See you next week. Always tell them what to do. Give me a call. Shoot me an email. Shoot me a text. Send me a private Facebook message. Some way, shape, or form, have a call to action. Okay? Expose yourself. Teach what you know. If you have a situation or a question or something that comes up, you're like, man, I get, I've got to ask that question like literally 200 times. People need put it out there. Be be proactive. So maybe someone says, "Yeah, what 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 does my credit score need to be to buy a home, or what does my credit score need to be to get a decent rate, or what does my credit score need to be to, to do an RD loan or FHA loan or conventional loan?" 
that's probably a question that's going on in their head. Even if they have good credit, maybe they don't know what the industry's done and they need education on that. So if you, like this credit score factors, that might be a great blog post that you could put up with a picture that you can now pin on your Pinterest board and educate them on where the industry is right now in 2013 coming up on 2014, okay? Just to some ideas. Think about the stuff that goes on in your seller's heads that they're thinking about. Ten things that you should know when selling your home. And each one of them could be a blog post, could be better yet a video. And if that video is in your Pinterest, one of your Pinterest boards, like in your education, things you should know when selling a home, that would be a great board, right? Could be to only ten little pins in there, but those ten pins are educational on things that they should know with little short videos tied to them. And it doesn't have to be done overnight. What if you just committed to yourself and said, I'm going to do one video a month or one video a week, and I'm going to make it on this, and then I'm going to place it on this board, and then I'm going to share it on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn to let people know to get more followers. That would be an amazing way to do it, right? Maybe you found a really cool home that has an amazing view, and you took a picture of the view and like, oh, my God, I love this home. This view is nothing like I've ever seen before but it's tied to one of your single property websites that they can click on and see that, wow, she's a real estate agent, and man, she's, you know, it, really they're clicking on it to see the beautiful home and see the view, which everybody wants to see beautiful views, right? That's the whole, that's the whole mindset behind that. Expose yourself using video. Man, I can't tell you how strong video is. There's just nothing better. So create videos of what you know or interview experts. What if you interviewed a CPA, financial planner, pool guy, electrician, a builder, maybe you're looking to do some repairs on a home, like, hey, I just come across one of my clients, they're looking to add a new kitchen. Uh, I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to be interviewing a builder just on some little bitty things that you should be aware of when at, like redoing your kitchen that I think are, are, are important. Um, hey, you know, and then just go into the interview, really short interview inter uh, video. Um, here's some other ideas. Landscaping, pool, hardwood floors, car maintenance. Maybe, you know, if you got a good mechanic that's a good friend of yours and you got a, a borrower that comes in that said they had, they had to get an alternator replaced. We, you know, there's a phone app that says how much you should be paying for to get an alternator replaced on that, you know, on that car. Credit repair, marketing tips, social media tips, coupons, rest. I mean, there's no lack of content. I mean, like, <laughs> zero. There's so much content out there that it's just insane that you could actually pin make your own and then share it and then have people follow you and build your build your sphere of influence your network all right Paul any questions on any of this stuff I think I lost Paul as I had my my thing my mic um, or muted yeah a couple of couple of small questions one of the big ones that seems to be prevalent Scotty you talk about posting but but how often do you recommend penning on Pinterest, is it is it kind of the same as what you would would recommend with Facebook? How, how often do you recommend pinning? Yeah, I say um, as often as you can. Now, I would again put it in your calendar to go. All right, I'm going to go on. I, I, you got to have it in your calendar because if it's not in your calendar, you're just going to flat out forget about it. Mm -hmm. I would put it on your phone. I would put it on your computer. So, like, put it in your calendar. Put it on your phone. So, like, when you're when you're at some place that you think is interesting to you. Share it with the world. So put it on Pinterest. Do a pin on it and say, hey, oh, my God, this place is so cool. you got to check it out. The burgers are good. The steaks are good. The sushi's good. Whatever it is, that's something cool. Like this little picture right here, how to make, uh, how to make, how to make, uh, how to build. How to, I mean, so I would say if you can do it once every other day or once a week at least. Now, if you can do it every day, that's awesome because that's just what Pinterest is. You just every day. Now, it's going to be a little difficult, but I think you can truly do it every single day. Um, so, but at, do it when you can do it. I mean, if you, it depends on how, how bad you like, how bad you want to build your brand and build your interest and build your following. And I, I think it goes back to setting a goal, Paul, really. It's like if I, I want to have one more follower a day, so that means that I've got to go follow somebody and have them follow me back. And, I, if, and if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it with somebody that already knows, knows likes, and trusts me. So that I have, so I keep that connection. So I keep that client. Does that make sense? So I think it goes back to your goals. All right. Use free reports. Free reports. There's a million of them, and we can talk about this if you if you want. Like where to find? It. If you just Google free reports on anything, questions to ask before buying an old house, buying a house, pick the right pros, buying a house, 2012 infographics. Um, there's all kinds of really cool stuff you can choose from. So. Use free reports, that's really good. 
uh, before and after pictures. I think this is amazing. This, this, this would be so cool, especially if you specialize in new construction. I mean, think about putting a board together from with a, a, a person that you're selling a home to that's brand new built from the ground when there's nothing there. So you take picture after picture after picture, and you create a board for them that's literally from the dirt all the way up to all the all done and inside with virtual tours and stuff. How cool would that be that you can share with everybody and people go, wow, that's cool. Here's the step. And you can explain each step and how long each step takes. And does that make sense? I love that idea. So what if you're specializing in 203Ks? You have a client that's buying a home that you're doing a 203K program where they're actually redoing a lot of the homes and redoing the walls and redoing a lot of stuff. I think that's a great idea too to, to, to take pictures of all that stuff and create a board of it. And then and we're going to show you how to actually add your clients to it, which I think would be cool. So you can like show them how to like where it is, and then they can share it with their people, friends on Facebook, and all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, happy customers with your product, huge deal there. Every closing should have a picture that has a pin. Congratulations to the Smith family on your new home. It was such a joy working with you. Look forward to getting to know you better, and, and can't wait to see you, see you when you're unpacking your new home. Pin, share, pin, share, pin, share. Now, here's the cool part. Most people just go, go go to Facebook and do it. I would go to Pinterest, pin it with the picture, explain who it is with their permission, of course, and then go to Facebook, take your, that link from that pin and put it on Facebook, and now you've accomplished two social media sites. Make sense? All right. Video testimonials from your customers. Oh, my God. Doesn't get any better than this. If you can do it, I know one one of my friends. She just she doesn't even ask them. She just gets to the closing table, starts the camera, and say, "Hey, can you guys do me a huge favor? It's been such an awesome time working with you guys, and I just wonder if I could get a little feedback of how the transition was. I'm going to ask you these these three simple questions, and if you could just answer them honestly, I'd greatly appreciate it. Now, whether she chooses to pin it or not, that's up to her. But when you got clients talking about you and saying. You know, Paul, it was so awesome working with you. It's just everything you said was going to happen happened, and it was on time. And it just you always answered my call, and you're just always there for me, and I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Like, you know, I'll, I'll refer all my friends and family to you. That is power, guys. That is stuff that people go, hmm, okay. All right. Your first conference, to tell your story. I mean, really life is about telling a story. And you got to let people into your story. I mean, I, I mean, like I said, I'm, do, I'm doing the about section of me of like where I started and where I'm at. And I think it's so important to know why you're in the real estate business. Why did you, how did you get started in the real estate business? What did you do before the real estate business? Tell your story. I think it's so important to, I mean, once I get to know people, it's amazing where they've been and where they're at and how they got there and what roads, like what roads they had to go through and what, uh, what, what um, trees they had to go through and around and all that stuff. So, um, you know, there's everybody has an amazing story. You just gotta, just gotta let people know about. It, okay. Hey, Sky. Yeah. Hey, um, tell you know, kind of what you're doing now. You how you got a creative writer. Sometimes some people, it's kind of hard to talk about yourself. Like it's like an artist is it's hard to sell their artwork. So you yeah. can always outsource that and just give them some bullet points and have them come back with the story for you too. And you yeah. can find those people. Great idea. You know, um, creative writers on Craigslist or even at the local, um, you know, the college and stuff like that, and very inexpensive. Yeah, I put an ad. I put an ad in Craigslist because I am like, and, and I apologize if you see any spelling errors. I I'll just be brutally honest. I suck at writing. That's just not. It's just not me. And so I go. All right, I want to put up a blog post here and there, and I want I want to give you a key term like you know, pick up the damn phone. And let's just write a let's just write a blog post on how important it is to pick up the phone and get to know your clients and physically meet with them face to face. Let's let's do a blog article on that. So and I'm you know and I'm get, I'm building a relationship with my writer so that she knows um, how, like she did uh, the start of the about section. I said no, how about this? And I threw a bunch at her and she so we're going to combine the two together, which I think are really cool. So it's getting to know who it is. But she's I mean it's just I can send her anything I want. So she sends it back. But what do you think? And then I tweak it whatever. But I can put stuff in words. It just doesn't look good, or it's not, you know, politically correct. So that's where I think um, I'm putting an ad out there. If you're looking for somebody to do that for you, and then I don't have to think about it. If I want a Facebook, I mean, if all the way down to a Facebook post. Here's what I want to say on this Facebook post. Um, can you help me say it the right way? Here's here's an email inviter. Here's an email I want to send to my past database. Here's what I want to say. Can you make sure that I'm saying it the right way? And there's nothing here that's wrong. Stuff like that, I think, is huge. And then I can just write it however I want to write it. She takes it and goes, okay, here you go. And she spits it back at me and it's done. 
really, really great way to do things. And you can use that on all your social media sites. You can use it on your emails. You can use it on your video, whatever. Um, great idea, Vic. Thanks for bringing that up. Your first product or your first unusual property. I think, you know, I think a great board would be unusual properties, unusual features of homes that I've come across. Boom, snap it. And, like, how many times would that happen? Every day? Every day. So, yeah, that would be cool. I'd be waiting I know, for I, Yeah, I, I know I would go there just, you know, when you posted something and just click on it to learn more about it. I think that would be Absolutely, absolutely. All right, your latest project, favorite hobby. Like, what do you do for like, what do you do for fun? And I, and, and I always talk about this. You have to tell. You have to let people know. Like, I like going to the casino. I like going to the movies. I like going to dinner. I like traveling. I like visiting different. I mean, that's just me. So I check in at those places, and I, you know, if I pin the picture at the casino, that's just that's just who I am. I, I mean, I like going there. So that's what I do. My, my fun time. I like like just hanging out with the family. Just sitting there, hanging out, watching a movie. Like we watch movies all the time. That's me spending time with my kids. I watch what they want to watch, and I just kind of hang out and listen and talk, and she fills me in on what I'm what I don't get, and I mean that's just good time for me. So that's just fun. But um, get followers, engage them. So first, get your current audience engaged on Pinterest, current audience email list, website, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Rolodex, uh, phone contacts. Just let them know about it. You got to share it. <clears throat> email address. We're going to skip this a little bit because um, you want to. You, um, I'm going to actually go show you this. So somebody said last week we said. How do you, and I'm going to skip right to the very end. There's some uh, so how to add Pinterest tab to your website. Okay, so I'm going to go to I'm going to go to Google, and I'm going to just open this up, and I'm going to go to Google, and this is how this is um, the best way to do it. Just so you, it's easy to remember. So how to add Pinterest tab to my website, and you can add this to any website, any blog, anything. So here's how this works. So the very first one it says add the pin it button to your website. See that right there? And I got an easy link for you to remember. So then you look at this and it goes, add the pin it button, type of pin it buttons, what can I pin, pin it button troubleshooting, and so add the pin it button. There you go. And it, go it opens to this and it says, <clears throat> go to widget builder. Check this out. So I click on widget builder and it says, here's my pin. I want this pin it button or this pin it button or this pin it button or depending on which one you want. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. It says one image above the button. Beside the button, not shown, so like you can choose where you want it. I'm going to just go above the button. And then here's the URL of the Flickr button of from, from, from Pin It. Here's the image if you want to put it in your website. It's really easy to do. We're going to be showing you how to do some cool stuff there. And then build it. So here it is, preview. So check this out. If I take this, and I already did it right here, if I take this and just drag it, it's going to put it up there for me, and there's my Pin It button. Now, if here, if I want to copy this link and paste it where, now this is getting a little techy, but it's just HTML code. Here's the code to paste it if you want, if, uh, where you want to, the widget to appear, okay? Here's the JavaScript. So, if you, I mean, it's getting a little techy, but more or less, here's how you do it. And you, your programmers can do this for you or your website guys, but, it's, but I would highly recommend having a pin it button there on all your single property websites, on all your listings. Make sure that people can pin that listing because if they like it, they may be, I mean, think about this, and you might educate your borrowers. This goes back to education. Think about this, Vicki. So you go, hey, here's a good idea that I recommend when looking at homes. We're going to look at a lot of homes today and over the next couple of weeks. So what I would do is let's start a board, and we'll start it on my end, or we'll start it on yours, wherever you want to start it. And when we find a home, let's pin it and save it to our favorite homes so that we can go back and reference those. So we got them in one place. It's on our board. And we just have a good place to do it. So, like, we always know. And I can. And, it, and if I'm not with you and you drive by and see a home, let's just write down the address, go to the Internet, look for it, pin it to your favorite board, and then we can catch up when we do talk. That right. is so, so cool. Yeah. Isn't that a great idea? That's a great idea. All right. Thinking outside the box, right? That's all, that's all we're trying to do. All right. So, second, post on your Facebook and Twitter. So you take that post. And then here's the thing is, you know, Mr. You know, uh, you know, Mr. Buyer and others say, Vicky's my buyer. Hey, Vicky, here's what I would do personally. I would take all your favorite homes. Like, I would narrow it down to the bottom three and go, hey, guys, I want to just get your opinion on a couple things and just help me think outside the box. Help me take the emotions out of me buying my first home because I'm so excited, but I'm so scared, and I'm so nervous. So if you could, you know, and this is the, this is the buyer taking it to their Facebook wall, okay? And going, could you guys give me your opinion? Here's why I like this home. Here's why I like this home. Here's why I don't like this home. What do you guys think? Am I missing something here? 
And now you have the buyer getting interaction with their friends, giving them feedback on the, their first home. And guess who's attached to this Pinterest board? None other than their agent that they work with. How cool would that be? All right? You guys with me on that? I think that's a crazy good idea. I would highly recommend it, implementing that today. All right. Let them know what you were talking about, posting and sharing. How is the content different from Facebook? Give them a reason why they should follow both. Let them know about any contest or having that you uh, ask them to engage on Pinterest. Follow other people. 80% of pinners will follow who is following them. So make it a point today. After you get off the call, go follow some past clients, current clients, and just follow them and, and start liking stuff. Guess what they're going to do? They're going to come right back and follow you. Great way to keep the, keep the interaction going forever. All right? Engage with other people and businesses by repinning their stuff, liking their stuff, and commenting, or, excuse me, commenting on their stuff. <clears throat> Tag other pinners. You guys know this guy's hilarious. There's Carl drinking his juicy juices. So get new followers on Pinterest, tag other pinners. So you can tag. Check this out. So if I'm juicing with Drew Canoli, he's a huge health nut. The guy's awesome. But so if I want, if, if if I have a picture and I'm with somebody, I can tag them. And whoops, uh, let me go back. So I can tag them at Drew Canoli. So that's like pinning his, like saying, hey, here's who I'm with, and they can go see their board as well. So if you're with a friend, if you're with a past client, if you're with a client, hey, hanging out with whoever. All right. It's just the, the whole tagging thing. Using keywords. Let's talk about this. You want to use keywords. You want to use words that you wouldn't want to appear as a general search or that you would, would want to appear as a general search. Like love the frames on the wall, decor, frames, pictures, mirrors, portraits, antique. Stuff like that that people would search for. <clears throat> a lot of cool stuff there, right? So these are all the keywords that, it, that this person used on this, on this pin. Using keywords. So new Facebook trick, Facebook advertising, marketing tips, strategies, business. See the keywords there? Yep. Here's another one. Here's a pin it board. So add the pin it button to your website. This allows others to pin directly from your website. So um, I would highly recommend that. Usually this is pretty easy to do. And um, get with your tech person if you have any questions. Or get, you know what? Get with your loan professional and figure it out together. Like work together so that you guys are sharing pins back and forth with mutual clients. Brand each other. You know, you know have, and make sure you're connecting on all, all these levels. So this talks about penny button for websites. This talks about the URL and stuff, so I'm not going to cover this too much. You just have to go grab that code and, and get with your tech person. Um, how often should you pin? Here's the question you asked, Paul. Don't pin more than eight pins in a sitting uh, or per hour. This is recommended from, the I don't know, some website, Pinterest Genius. Post at different times of the day. If you pin throughout the day, it gives you more of an opportunity for your pens to be seen. And, put, and then post every day consistency. All right? Even if it's one a day, it takes you literally two seconds to make it part of your schedule. All right. Always be looking. Always be on the lookout for something cool. That if something is something, here's the whole thing. It's all changing your focus and changing your habits. Your habits would be, oh my God, Vicky, check that out. That is so cool. If you say that to yourself, like maybe you don't say it out loud, but you're driving down the road, be like, oh my God, that's so cool. That's what needs to be shared because that's cool to you, or that's interesting to you, or dear. Or, you see a, a, neat, a neat sign or something that interests you, that's what needs to be shared on social media. That's letting people into your life. Expose yourself. You see, see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Tips that make you great pens and drive traffic, P proper captions, broad keywords, concepts, and keyword categories. Words using captions are what allows you to pin, <clears throat> pins to become up in search results. Captions with the call to action, who am I, who I help, how I help them. Here's an example. Don't forget, to, uh, don't forget to get on our list for our weekly strategies for your chance to win a free HD video camera. <clears throat> that's like for, that's like, I mean, I don't know if anybody wants to win a video camera, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of what we would do, um, you know, for loan officers or listeners. This is so an interesting one that on. just came in, and I haven't heard you mention this yet. Does Pinterest, in the descriptions and things, does Pinterest, like Facebook has started doing and Twitter has been doing for quite a while, does Pinterest recognize hashtags? Uh, that is a good question. That is a good question. Audrey I just asked that. And, I, and you know what? I, I can't recall ever seeing hashtags in Pinterest or whether or not is my man Chris Arbery on the call. He is the hashtag Guru. Hashtag guru. I can uh, I can search it if we have time here in a second. So let's yeah, get if, that if to you get a minute. What Just kind of think about that. I, I that that's a really good question. 
You know, I think I think it does actually. But um, you know, and the reason I say that is I remember looking at Raj's Pinterest board. Wait, wait, wait! Julie just sent us something here. Uh, yeah, Julie Reisner on. just sent me something here that is uh, Pinterest. Um, hashtags in the new Pinterest. So hashtags in Pinterest for the short term while Pinterest is making the big transition. Um, so I, I would assume that I would. I think it'd be yeah right here. For example, when clicking on motivation loop pins with the exact same hashtag in the description and some of the same phrases with the keywords separated by hyphen appeared. So yes, it does. It does matter. Awesome. Yeah. Baby clothes. So there you go. Keywords make them hashtags. I mean, why, they're, they're one and the same, right? Baby clothes, like, so, I mean, so you... Yeah, you, you well, what idea. hashtags are is it makes it, people can search by right. hashtags specifically, and it will bring your stuff up. It's a little more directly accurate than, than keywording is. However, it requires the searcher to also include hashtag in their search term. So it's, it's for people that are looking, and, and people, it's become a very prevalent thing. People are really searching by hashtag now, um, and that's a whole other class we could do on that on for, for Facebook, Scotty, how to use uh, Yeah, that's a whole other class on hashtags for sure, and, we, and we'll do that. we got a great um, uh, Twitter class coming up next week, so don't miss that if you're, uh, if you're on the call right now. Twitter class with a good friend of mine out of Texas. She's like a Twitter expert. She's got up to like, I don't know, a ton of followers and just really, she's built a really, really, really good following on Twitter and she's going to show us how she's done it, okay? So don't miss that next week. All right, moving right along, my friends. Talk to the see. Uh, edit your links. So make sure, this is huge, make, make sure, write this down, make sure that every one of your pictures has a link attached to it, okay? What I mean by that is if they click on the picture and it just goes to a picture, that's, it's just not good. So if they click on the picture, which is what people do, it takes them to a blog, a website, uh, wherever you want them to go that matches the picture. And it doesn't matter where it goes. Just make them, make them go somewhere that lets them get into your world. It's kind of like, like inviting them into your home. It's like opening the door. Come on in. Now you're at my website or my blog. Make sense? All right. Okay, so don't forget to add your prices if you're selling something. Uh, this is cool. If you have some friends that are using Pinterest, you'll, you might notice a little bar across the top. It says $50. If you put the 50 in the description, it'll actually put how much it is. Now, it's Scotty, does that work if I put the $50 there and then put a space and maybe write out a, a, a real description after that? Would it still put the banner across if, I, if after the, the dollar sign I put some more description off to the side of that? I'm not actually sure, to be honest with you. I've never sold anything on Pinterest, so <laughs> I just, okay. yeah, I. Uh, that I is probably that the out, coolest so. bathtub I've ever seen in my life, though. By the way, what's that? Look at the oh, bathtub. That, uh, isn't that cool? It's a glass bathtub, dude. Oh, the, the, oh, this is this is yeah, 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 yeah. That's amazing, dude. What that looks like it's a, a thing underneath it they can see through. And Carol Ann's Carol Ann Falls says yes that that it will allow you to put some description afterwards. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Thank Thanks you, so Carol Ann. Sell something, product, service. So just to know that like for sale, look, look, looks like you can. So it looks like maybe they're looking for the dollar sign in there because this uh -huh. one says for sale. Like That's 300, what's tagging so. it. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so kind of like a hashtag. Cool, cool. $23 million house if anybody's interested. Very nice. Very yes. nice. Please. All right. Use video. I, I can't stress this enough. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna waste your time on that. But when the video, when you, you know, when they click on the video, it's gonna play. But make sure that it goes. The picture looks like it's a play video. So make sure, like, sometimes you might have to make a picture with that play button in it. If it doesn't have that play button and you're and you're sending it to a video, make sure that you add that play button. And we'll have some classes on that. But we do it with PowerPoint 2010. Really, really easy way. But make sure that that play button's there. They won't. That they won't think to click on it to to watch the video. And it's super easy to add that play button super via easy. PowerPoint. It's actually, PowerPoint has a place where you can add shapes, and one of the shapes is action buttons, and one of those action buttons is actually a play button. Excellent. So here's, uh, we did some time and spent some time on board ideas. Check this out. So I don't need to go over all these, but products, feature business partners, your brand and what you represent, saving money, coupons, budgeting. Again, you can get a copy of this PowerPoint from uh, your dear friends the, in, in the loan business. So contact, contact your loan professionals that uh, invited you to the class and just uh, get with them. They'll share it with you. 
decorating, recipes, travel, your favorite hobbies, gardening, the um, cleaning tips, I think are huge, painting, remodeling, plumbing, favorite restaurants, marketing tips, mascots, uh, where in the world is, have some fun with it. I mean, if you, if you, I mean, holy crap, how cool would it be to have a board? You're showing homes all day, every day, right? So where in the heck is Paul? Which mm -hmm. house is Paul at today? You know, I mean, how, 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 I don't know, that's just fun to me. Quotes, inspirational quotes, people love this. I get the most likes on stuff like this. Yeah. But make sure that it's you. Make sure that it's what you believe in. Don't just pick a quote to pick a quote. Pick a quote that you, like, truly can connect with. That's all I ask. Homeowner, buying, selling, maintaining, refinancing. All, I mean, if you, I mean, in two minutes, if I just Googled any one of these, I could literally have an awesome post that I could use or, or I mean, anything. But, you know, organic is good. Gluten-free is a big deal right now. Maybe have a gluten-free. I mean, here's a great idea. Have a board that has gluten-free food, bread, bagels, pasta, gluten-free restaurants. Maybe have gluten-free restaurants in your area. That people will can. I mean, that's huge right now, Paul. Absolutely. Huge, huge. I mean, I, I had, um, we got a, 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 a famous pizza place in town called Urbelli's. It's called Urbelli's. Went there, they have, they have uh, gluten-free pasta with gluten-free um, garlic bread. I came back, and what did I do? I told everybody here. Mike goes, man, i got to go try that out. I go, it was awesome. So if I would have shared that on Pinterest, there, that, that's just like, that, that's just like me connecting and going, oh, he's gluten free. And then people would you know, communicate and interact. And that's just, that, that's just exposing myself, right? You guys with me on that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, talking about everything, not just about, everything. you know, you're, you're, you're not just about the mortgages. You're about everything. Right. You're about the community. You're about the, you know, hey, check out this awesome new gluten free. Hey, by the way, did you check out the, the cool bathtub in this awesome house that's for sale down the road? Two, two, exactly. 23 million. Can anybody yeah. else buy it? Yeah, I mean, it's little things, just communication. It's, it's, I guess, you know, what it rolls back to is exactly what we talked about three weeks ago when we talked about Facebook and, and how to get the most out of your Facebook for business. It's about engagement. Right. It's about yep. being interesting and, and, and find, have, putting content out there that gets people to say, huh, what an interesting guy. And, right. and for you to say, hey, your stuff is interesting too, and now we can bond about interesting stuff. Yep. Who has who has a personal bucket list? Who on this call has a personal bucket list? I know everybody does. Me, me, me. me. I, I, I mean, yeah. So, but have you exposed it? No. Why not? I mean, let people let, let expose your bucket list. You know, yeah. Chuck. Because there's Chuck others suggests. that are going to be interested in the in the same things that are on my bucket list. I'll bet you. There is somebody that has this, a similar interest as that, and that could create. A relationship and what happens after a relationship? Yeah, we no. get to all do the business mm -hmm. together. Yeah. yeah, I just want to. I just want to. I just want to recognize somebody right here. So Patty, um, I, I, I'll be okay with this, but I just wanted to recognize what Patty said. She says the info you give at these webinars are priceless. The explanations are under are easy to understand and use. Thank you so much for providing me with so many tools to use to increase my business. This is the third class. Also, if I miss a class, I can still get it. Thanks. Um, Appreciate that. I really, really appreciate the kind words, Patty, because this is really we um, all of us on this call put our hearts and souls into this, and we really, truly, I don't know. And we talk about this all the time. We we we, we try to go above and beyond when we do these classes. So, if ever you guys um, uh, have something to share, we would love to see it because we we try to be experts on all this stuff. We try to you know we try to do homework on it, and I try. I mean, I spend a lot of time on this. So, if there's anything that comes up, you guys go, hey, you missed this. Just please share it on the private group page. Share it with your loan professionals and just kind of what we're doing is trying to build some really good like-minded relationships for you guys, and that's, uh, that's what this is all about. So appreciate it. Hey, hey Scott. Yeah. You know, what we talk about a lot, too, when I'm talking with um, loan officers, too, is, is and agents, it's talking frog. You know, it's family, recreation, occupation, and goals. Remember that? So right. that's, that's really the – so your Pinterest boards can be about frog. You know, yes. it, it yes. doesn't have to be business, business, business. It can be right. about those kind of things. Well, that's right. where that trust comes from too, Vicki, is, is yeah. by letting people get to know me, that I am a family guy, that I do enjoy some recreation, and that I, I think about my recreation and I have goals. Like letting people see that side of my life is very, it's yeah. bonding. It allows people to maybe make a different, you know, 
to see me and to have a different perception of me. And I've said this multiple times on this class before, perception is reality and it's how we get, yeah, how we allow people reality, to perceive baby. us. Yeah. And so, yeah, so if, right. if my perception is, is that I'm guarded and that I only talk about business, that makes it very difficult to get to know me. The perception is, is that I'm, I'm all business or stuffy. But if I put my stuff out there, if I put my, you know, on the bucket list, I want to catch a bonefish one day or, or you know, that kind of puts yeah. it out there that I am, I'm easy to get to, maybe very easy to get to know, maybe, maybe get to that trust level a little bit quicker than the time it takes through building credibility and, and consistency. You know, you know one, of the, one of the things that I, um, you know, I've always, I'm always looking for why do I do this or why do I do that, you know, like, and everybody has to have their why, but I read Gary Vay's, uh, you know, and I, I follow every single word that he says, and one of the things he said was my goal in life or my why is to get as many people to my funeral as I possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> and why would people come to your Why would people come to your funeral? Because because they like you, know you, and trust you, and they have a relationship with you. And so his why is so. I mean, if you if if you put, if you make that your why, like I want to work with as I want to help as many people as I possibly can get into a home, get out of a home, solve a problem, um, ha give them the solution, make their life better. They will remember you, but then you got to stay in their life. So, like I said. It's not about getting more clients, it's about keeping the ones you have. Make it so that those clients will stop what they're doing and come to your funeral. Does that make sense? It's Absol maybe a little morbid, absolutely. but I think it really hits the point of why I do what I do. Because I want, I want to, I mean, and that's it's not It's a great reason. analogy it's on, on the depth of which you're trying to build those relationships. Absolutely. Right. How, do you spell, how do you spell Gary's last name again? V.A. Vannercheck. I think it's um, Gary V.A. Whoops. V a y n e r c h u c k. You guys, a rock star man. So swears a lot. I will say he does swear a lot, but I just wanted to let you know that. So uh, all right, here we go. Uh, so let's still get a couple boards, shall we? You guys want to look at a couple boards? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Dive Karen in. Gill. So Karen Gill. I, you know, I just love her. She uh, she's actually an hour away from me in Grand Rapids, Michigan. She private messaged me last night and said, "Hey, I wanted to share my board. I'm not sure where to share it, but." Karen, awesome, awesome job. I don't know. She said she's been working tirelessly to get this thing done. I can tell you, that. if she just started this last week, no, she, no, she, no, there's no way because she got a, like, oh, oh, well, maybe. Yeah, she, she started it last things. week. Yeah. Unbelievable, Karen. Look, so she's got living in Grand Rapids, Michigan, Grand Rapids homes. That I mean, you know what? Let's just go. Let's just go check this out. So Karen Gill, let's go to Pinterest. I, I just, I'm so proud of her. That's just awesome. So let's go to this. Let's go to Karen Gill. Uh, let's see. And we're gonna choose boards, pinners. There it is. No. Um, I thought I followed her. You know what? I know where to get her. She's on my Facebook. She sent me a private message, and she probably just redid it. <laughs> So I appreciate, whoops, let's see here, Karen, there it is. I promise not to show all our conversation, but let's see, let's see, here we go. Whoops, nope, that's her website, sorry, Karen. Here's her Pinterest board. So check this out. So we got living in Grand Rapids, Michigan, Grand Rapids homes that you'll love. Isn't that cool? Very cool. Uh, home decor, gardening and landscaping, odd locations, love it, love it, love it. Business sense, it's fall, love it. I love all this stuff. Wolverine, so she's letting herself like she's a Michigan fan. Mike, you probably like that. Beautiful spa cafe, how you know how to. Awesome, she just left it at that, man. That's awesome. I mean, holy crap. Uh, how cool is this? I actually, you know, and my eyes always go to that stuff because it had an iPhone in it. Mm -hmm. So this is the, actually the board that I looked at last night. I'll tell you, the like, one okay, that, that caught my fine. eye was this cake over here on the on the red on the breakfast right, lunch yeah. and did that caught my eye like you would not believe. <laughs> really? <That's> yummy. <laughs> so like, I, got a, like, I told you I got a sweet tooth, man. I can't help it. Yeah, favorite places, colors. I mean, holy crap. Um, what what I like about this, Scotty, is that she's been she's she thought she put some thought process into the oh. name of the boards that she did. Yeah. Like the yeah. names of the boards are very cool. Like now you know how to dot dot dot. So that kind of leads right. into 
living in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So, I mean, obviously, that's very obvious what that's about. That's going to cool. be about the local area and cool stuff around or, or what you can do when you're living in. I mean, I just yeah, love the absolutely. names of the boards and the way that she's got them organized in the order in which she, which she did it. It's, it's the house stuff first, and then the interesting stuff, the stuff that she knows people are going to be gravitated to, the eye-catching stuff, is underneath yep. her house stuff. So it, it yep. makes people's eyes have to look through that first. Beautiful. I mean, it's just very, very, very well done. Here's the top. So look at the top. So it says Karen Gill, real estate pundit and purveyor of fine properties. I mean, what a word. Holy smokes. Senior skin consultant for beauty control, spa products, self-proclaimed Marriott snob. I love it. Yeah. So like, so she loves to stay at the Marriott. Wife, mom, and nana. How cool is that? I know everything about Karen. I see what she loves. She's in Grand Rapids. She's got her link posted to it. She's got her Twitter. She's got her Facebook. Everything is in order. It's like I know exactly what she loves. I mean, who can't relate to Karen right now? Mm -hmm. Everybody, you can. You can talk. You can talk whatever you want. You can talk. If you're a woman, you can talk skin. You can talk. Like if you if you travel, I mean, I'd love to know more about that. Like why Marriott? Because that's a question I would ask her. Because we'd have something to talk about. I mean, it's just cool stuff like that, right? All right. Let's go to the next one. Let's go. Uh, my good friend and and uh, partner here, Dave Sullivan. He's the credit man. He sells like he does credit. I think he's um, the credit guy. So he's got a couple boards. Got his website here. I think he just started. Congratulations on getting it started. It's about taking action, but a couple of the things I like, the real story on credit. See how he's kind of going right to the, to the point here? The cars I have loved, love this. Great interviews that he likes. So I, I know this guy right here. Love that guy. He's not the, um, the, the yeah, dot com guy. Funny stuff. So he, I mean, great job, man. I mean, it's, hey, you know what? You've got to start somewhere. And as you go along, you add different boards to different posts, and you make it look good, right? But, he's let, but this right here is all about him. It's what he loves. So it says trying to get the real story out on credit and credit scoring one person at a time. Check out my free video and how to increase your score at thecreditguy.com or creditguy.tv. Good stuff, man. Dave Woodson, good friend of mine down in Indiana. I'm a realtor in northwest Indiana. I will sell your home. I am also the owner of a local lead generation company specializing in marketing and phone ring. Marketing, making your phone ring. Cool stuff. Look at this. Cars I like. Good sports guys. Indiana social media. Love the picture. That, that caught my eye. I don't know why that caught my eye. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Stuff I like. This caught my eye. Uh, look at this. Dog ideas for the girl. Social media. Office ideas. Dave Woodson videos. Love it. Great job, brother. Northwestern, Northwest Indiana real estate. Laporte real estate. Michigan. Michigan, a guest, guest penners. So he has a couple guest penners that are doing some stuff there. Great job, man. Great job. All right, who else we got here? Uh, Liz Baker. Where's Liz Baker? Full-time realtor. Queen enthusiast. Hockey. Go Cats. Golfing, bowling, gardening, antiques, actions, crafting, music, and bookkeeping. Sounds like I'm doing an interview, doesn't it? <laughs> there you have Liz Baker, full-time realtor. Actually. <laughs> but look at this. From home to home. My style. So, like, really good stuff. Only miss you're missing your website, which you gotta have a website. So you gotta have to let people go see like come to your home. Your website is your home. This is like a party. They're seeing kind of you know what you like, what you got going on here. So just missing a website. Um, you got your Twitter and your Facebook, which is good. Um, so that's it. Good stuff. Great. You let us know who you are. Great job. Thanks for sharing. So let's go back. We got a couple minutes left. We'll just finish this up. Appreciate you guys. Um, who's on Pinterest? Oh, check this out. So a couple things like. Um, they uh, here's a couple like here's a couple ideas I want to go over this. So who's on Pinterest? Here's HDTV. More keywords like D, uh, garden, home design, etc. Like there's no keywords. Here. Like kind of they probably changed it since I took this picture, but I want to show you when this first started what was going on. Uh, Starbucks coupons. There's no coupons here. Why would you not have coupons? They have 10,000 followers, and this was way back when. Go there now, and they're probably triple that. No coupons? Are you kidding me? Right? Like like. <laughs> Weight Watchers. How about as celebrity? Like, how many people like do promotional stuff for Weight Watchers? There's nothing on here for celebrities who who follow Weight Watchers. That'd be a good one, wouldn't it? 4,100 followers. This was these, these are old pics. I want to show you guys. You can go see where they're at now. Whole Foods. 
How about major keywords? Organic, healthy, recipes, food, no keywords. See that? See what I'm talking about? Absolutely. Yeah. Like on that one, you, you have a no whole website. board about gluten-free, have a whole board about eating paleo, Absolutely. have a whole board about, you know, just the different ways that, you know, because For people sure. don't shop at Whole Foods because that's the grocery store that's closest to them. They shop at Whole Foods because they think they're getting a better product. They're getting a more specific product than just what you get at the Kroger's or the, you know, the Piggly Wiggly. Yeah, exactly. Check yes, I am food Southern, and we do have Piggly Wiggly here. Like, how, how many women can, you know, like, and, and you guys know this, like, 80% of the people on Pinterest are women. <clears throat> Building the best nails, who would not click on that? <laughs> I mean everybody, right? That, that's just that's just that's just uh, building the best work out. I mean I'm sure that's what that says. Building the best of me. Building. I mean so there's a lot of cool stuff. I mean there's a lot of million ideas here. I um, like the quotes one. Did you see there was a whole page on quotes there, or a whole board on quotes? Quotes. Yep. So like Lots your Forrest Gumps and your your Zig Ziglars. Not that they're in the yep. same category. Please don't think yep. I mean that. <laughs> All right. Check this one out. So captivating kitchens. Breathtaking basements. Captive, of ours, captivating kitchens. Breathtaking basements. Fantastic family living. Majestic master suites. Gives a little more twang to it, doesn't it? Makes you go, hmm, majestic. Captivating. Breathtaking. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, fashion cats. If you're a cat lover, look, look, uh, look at this. Who visits Nordstrom? Oh my god, that's so awesome. I love that talk. Uh, Lifecraft, seniors, real estate specialist. Who she specializes in what? What she specializes in? <laughs> real estate for seniors. Ooh, got a little niche there. Yeah. And notice she's posted. Show. Notice the posts, though. Go back, go back one, Scotty. Notice the boards, New Jersey Shortlist. So she's showing the leisure activities that the seniors would be most interested in. She's not showing the seven bedroom home that some senior sitting there thinking man I am done cleaning up after that many people no she's showing right. the beach community and the golf club community where the the guys enjoying the retirement or, or you know reaching that level of his life where he's he's now a senior but he you know kinda of showing the things that would be interesting to those people right absolutely that, that makes absolute sense so don't have any boards with nothing in it. So like for the home product I love. So just delete these like until you get ready to add to them. Mm -hmm. This was way back when. These are old pictures, but I mean these are old from like the last time we did this. But I just wanted to share with you a couple good examples. Like if there's a board there with no pictures, just leave them. Just just delete them until you have pictures to add to them because it you know just doesn't look good. Um, so let's just click that. Yeah. Oh, we're coming up on time, so I'm just gonna blow through this. And uh, I mean, there's just I mean, you guys can get copies of this PowerPoint. There's how about this one? Places. Spaces, 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 dining rooms, spaces, kitchens, luxury collection, space, bedrooms, spaces, lofts, spaces. I mean, so you can literally go nuts with this stuff um, and start your own board on all of it. Here's Raj. I would heavily uh, recommend following this guy. He uh, he's got a team that builds his Pinterest stuff for him, so he's not doing it, but he puts some some really cool like meet our team. I would heavily recommend if you got a team in place, um, your referral partners, CPA, financial planners, pool guys, electricians, builders. I would heavily recommend putting that together so that when people go, man, I, you know, um, Raj said that he had a, a builder that he liked and he trusted, and so I'm going to go to, you know, I'm going to either call Raj or I'm going to go to his Pinterest board and call that guy because he said he was a good guy. You know what I mean? You want people to come back to you and remember you for more than just buying or selling real estate. This is one way to do it. So recap: have a strategy, create your brand, then use keywords, identify your customers and their habits. Find out, I mean, you can get to know, remember we talked about reverse uh, reverse engineering? You can get to know somebody before you even meet them or before you, before you talk to them. When are they on? When? What do they post? What do they follow? Who do, who do they follow? What do they like or pin? What is your purpose? Connect, educate, and sell? Maybe all of them. What are your goals? Increase sales, increase revenue, referral partner increase? My personal thing would be to keep the clients that I already have and connect and engage and interact with them on a very, very high level so that they always remember me every single time someone says, I'm thinking about buying a home, I'm thinking about selling a home, I want to be their number one thought that goes on in their head. I want to be that reticular activator that goes, boom, call Scott, call Scott, call Scott, and that's what you want, and that's what social media will allow you to do if you pick up the phone and make those connections and connect with them often, okay? Staying consistent, you must post every day. How to get followers or, um, and have several boards that support your brand.
Okay. Here's a couple of links. So this link right here, you can get exploring blogging. Um, this is some cool t uh, tools. I'll just go there and show you really quick what I'm talking about. Whoops. Uh, I don't know what happened there. And there's a bunch more stuff that we didn't even get to, but let me just go to this really quick here and we'll let you guys go. This one right here is the help page of Pinterest. So I just said budhero.com forward slash Pinterest help. So you can go there, but let me just show you what this one is. This one's pretty good, a blog post here. Exploreblogging.com tools, building infographics, Pinterest. So this one talks about three handy tools to create business infographics for Pinterest on a visually diverse site like Pinterest, uh, just click on the ad and make it go away. But it talks about some really cool, easily way, <laughs> easily way to do it. There's some stuff here. So um, it talks about infograms, so some really good links that you can use. Here's visually, so all kinds of really cool stuff that you can use um, to, to do Pinterest pinning on the highest level, okay? So um, get a copy of that PowerPoint from your loan professional, and um, that's it, Paul. Awesome stuff, brother. You covered it, man. Thank you guys so much for, for being here, staying engaged with us. Those of you, lots of you are asking, how do I get oh, a recap? You know what? Real quick, real quick. I did a video. One last thing, Paul. So somebody wanted to know how to add Pinterest to their business page, okay? All right, here's how you do it. And I did a video on that page, but let me just do it again for you really quick, and it will be on this recording. So I'm going to go to, I'm, I'm inside Facebook. I'm going to Google or search, search for people, places, or things, I'm going to put in Pinterest. All right, Pinterest. And here it says tab for Pinterest. I'm going to click on tab for Pinterest. It's going to open this up for me. On the left-hand side, it's going to say install application. See that? Boom. I'm going to install application. It's going to say, well, Scott, which page you want to put it on? I'm like, I have a bunch of pages. So let's just put it on 365 things to do in Kalamazoo. And I'm going to scroll back up. And once I choose it, I'm going to click Add Page Tab. That's pretty cool. This is really easy to do this. And then, <clears throat> you, once it opens up, it's going to go, here's your Pinterest. All right? Here's all you got to do. You're going to come up with a bunch of Pinterest stuff. See this little arrow right here? It's kind of hidden, not real visual. This little arrow. Click on that. Put in your username. So my username would be Scott Hudspeth. <clears throat> All right, and I'm going to choose user boards, user pins or boards, however you want to do it. I'm going to choose user boards, and I'm going to click Save Settings. And within a couple seconds, it's going to have all of your boards now in Pinterest on your business Facebook page. All right, no, you don't have to pay anything. It's all good to go. Now, if I click back to this, you see the Pinterest thing right here? You're all done. Now you can change that level, of course. And to do that, just click the little drop down and then the little pencil, and you can edit that form. But that's that's just a cool way to do it. All right, makes sense. All right, <clears throat> that's it, my folks. Thank you so much for joining us today, Paul, Vicky. You're Mike. welcome. Thanks. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> See you on the web. If you have any questions, oh, last but not least, go to our private Facebook page at facebook.com. If this is your first time joining us. Um, groups forward slash agent mastermind. Oops. And booyah. Eleven. There we go. Join us there. If you have any questions, please ask, and we will be more than happy to answer them for you. If you'll notice, I put up a video today just to show you how to exactly do the the business Facebook page. Someone asked on that, or how to do the Pinterest tab. So um, if you have any questions, other people probably have the same questions. Go there, ask them, and uh, we'll be more than happy to take care of you there. All right? Thanks so much, everybody. Appreciate you guys. Paul? Awesome, you. brother. Have a fantastic day, and we yeah. will uh, shoot. I'll see you in two days, my man. Actually, I'm not going to be there, Paul. What? I'm not going to be there this time. You are skipping a trip to Florida. Skipping to get out of the great white cold, you are skipping a trip to Florida. <laughs> I'm going to be there for eight days in uh, December, so I look forward to seeing you. Well, and that's that. It'll be still warm then, but brother, I that's figured cool. you'd take the opportunity to come down. You know, I'm taking. I'm going fishing, right? Are you really? Yeah. I'm no, I'm not. I'm just teasing. No. You're trying to make you feel bad for not coming to see me, brother. Have a good one. I'll see you. I'll see you on Friday, man. Bye bye. The organizer has ended the.